Rice that has been imported from India has been supplied to the local market. Most of the rice has been cultivated in Tamil Nadu. Only 2% of cultivations in India take place using organic fertilizer. Tamil Nadu is not among the top 10 Indian states that practice organic farming. The cost of local Sudhu Kakulu has now risen to 160 rupees and Ratu Kakulu up to 190 rupees. There is an Indian variety called Kiriponni. The wholesale price is 175 rupees. The retail price is 200 rupees. Ponni Samba has a wholesale price between 120 and 130 rupees and a retail price of 140 rupees. Indian Nadu rice has a wholesale price of 120 rupees and a retail price of 130 rupees. There is a shortage of red rice. It has a wholesale price of 145 rupees. All these are Indian varieties. Indian, but Local rice is expensive. There is a difference of 50 rupees. The customers inquire about the prices and purchase imported rice. The customers buy the Indian variety. They purchase what's cheaper. While Indian rice has entered the Sri Lankan market, China has said it will provide a million metric tons of rice free of charge. Former Central Bank Deputy Governor Dr. W.A. Vijayawadhan pointed out that the value of the gift would amount to more than 600 million US dollars. He added that this can be considered as a super gift by a donor. But Dr. W.A. Vijayawadhan noted that Sri Lanka should consider the bill that would come along with it as there is no such thing as free lunch. Why is China giving rice free of charge to Sri Lanka? China's CGTN media outlet reported that this would be to carry forward the spirit of the rice rubber pact. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi had visited Sri Lanka recently to mark 70 years of the rice rubber pact. CGTN reported that this was discussed during a meeting with the president as well. I saw media reports that China is going to gift 1 million metric tons of rice to Sri Lanka to mark the rubber rice pact. Does Sri Lanka have an assurance whether they can be cultivated using organic fertilizer? They are trying to import this by violating their own policy. They are importing products cultivated using chemical fertilizer by going beyond their policy that they made based on myths. When a country that is self-sufficient in terms of rice has to wait for rice to be imported, we have lost another aspect about which we can be proud of.